Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to dual boot elementary OS with Windows 11 or Windows 10. The dual boot of elementary OS in both Windows 11 and Windows 10 is pretty much same. So if you watch this video until the end, then you'll know the process of dual booting the elementary OS on these systems. So let me talk about the elementary OS at first. So elementary OS is a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu LTS. It promotes itself as a thoughtful, capable, and ethical rep replacement of macOS and Windows. And the operating system, the desktop environment, and the applications inside Elementary OS are developed by the Elementary INC. And before starting the video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. It means a lot to me, so make sure to do that. So to dual boot Elementary OS system with the Windows, First of all, we need to create a bootable USB drive of elementary OS. So to create a bootable USB drive, we need certain things, just like the ISO file of the elementary OS. So to download the ISO file of the elementary OS, you can go to this link. So to download the ISO image of the elementary OS, you need to scroll a bit and you can see here the payment section. So if you want to pay or donate anything, you can just donate here. So in case if you don't want to pay, you can just select the custom set it to zero and you can download the elementary os from here just click on it and here we go the download will be started so after downloading the ISO file of the elementary os now uh, we need to download a software called rufus to make the usb bootable so to download the rufus you need to go through the link so i'll be giving this link in the description box so you can just copy it from there and you can download the rufus so to download it, you need to just scroll a bit and down here you can find the download section. So choose the Rufus 3.20 which is the latest version. Just click on it and the download will be started. So after this, you need to run the Rufus. So right click on it and run it as the administrator. So this is the interface of the Rufus. Now you need to choose the USB drive which you are going to make it bootable. So this is the USB drive of 8 gigs, so I'm going to make it bootable. Now you need to select the ISO file of the elementary OS. So just hit to the folder and choose that. Now there is no need to make any changes here. And now to make it bootable, just click on start. OK and just click on yes. So after things are done, you just need to close it. And the bootable USB drive is created. So now I'm going to show you the partition where I'm going to install the elementary OS. So let me head towards the disk management. So this is my Windows 11 system with which I'm going to dual boot the elementary OS. So to open the disk management, uh, you need to go inside the file explorer and right click on this PC. Somewhere option, you can just click on manage. So it is always uh, pretty much nice to check the partitions before installing the any operating system or dual booting any operating system with the windows so uh, it gives a clear view about the partition so let me show you here these three partitions are of the windows so i'm not going to mess with these partitions if you mess with this partition then it may create a lot of problem so we should be away from these three partitions which are of windows and this is the unallocated space where i'm going to install my elementary os so if you like unallocated space, then you can just shrink the volume from this partition and make the unallocated space for the installation of elementary OS. So for now, I'm not going to create the any partition. I'm just going to leave this unallocated space as it is. And during the installation, I'm going to create a new partition where I'm going to install elementary OS. So let's get a clear view and you can just close it. You need to restart your system and head towards the boot menu to restart the installation. Open the boot menu with the boot setup key and you need to choose your bootable USB drive from the boot menu. So now uh, you need to choose the try or install element reverse. So now you need to start the installation of the element reverse. So select your language for the installation. You need to choose the region, choose the keyboard layout and you can test your keyboard layout here and you click on select. So now uh, you need to choose the custom installation to dual with the elementary OS with the Windows operating system. 
So if you choose the erase disk and install and it will erase the old disk and install the element reverse only. So to dual boot choose the custom install. So you can see this here, uh, this is the SSD which is inside my system which is of 131 gigs. And you can see this here, uh, these three are the partition of Windows and uh, they are given with their name here. So we are not going to mess with this partition. So this, this space is the unallocated space which I have shown you before in the disk management of Windows. So I'm going to create a few partitions from this unused space and I'm going to install elementary OS within that. So to create the partition, click on modify partition. And now you can see this here, the unallocated space. So you, you just need to choose this unallocated space and click on this option right here uh, to create a new partition and I'm going to create a partition where I'm going to install my elementary OS and I'm not going to create a different partition for the home root and different directories it will make the installation complicated so I'm just going to create a whole new partition where I'm going to install everything so uh, this is the total size which is available so I'm going to take the whole size and I'm going to set it as the primary partition. Yeah, I'm going to label it as slash, which means the root directory. So now I'm going to just click on add and the thing should be done after this. So here we go, the new partition is created and just click on write option. You need to click on apply. And now we can just close this and you can see this new configuration of the partition here so here we go this is the partition this so this is the partition just click on this button and uh, select the format option and you can just set it as root and the file system is ext4 which was made before so now uh, you just need to select the erase and install option so here we go now we are installing the elementary OS on our system so it may take a while so you can just grab a coffee and wait until that so now the things are done now you'll get the option to restart or shut down your system so now at first you need to remove your bootable usb drive and you need to shut down your system and again after that you can just restart it to but make sure that you remove the bootable usb drive so here we go once you log in and you will see the options here the first one is the element OS. so if you select this then element OS will be open and the last one is a windows recovery environment or you will see windows boot manager so if you choose the this option then the windows will run so at first let me run the windows okay uh, it, it is working fine now let me start the elementary system when you choose the first option elementary OS 6.1 then the elementary OS will be started so here we go, this is the welcome screen. Now you need to select the keyboard layout and all of these. So you need to create your account and set the user password. So this is what you see after opening the Elementor OS for the first time. Now we can just finish this setup and log in to the system. So here we go, now you can continue using the elementary OS. So hey guys, thanks for watching. I'll make such video if you like, share and subscribe my channel. Uh, in this way you can do all about the elementary OS with the Windows system. So I hope you guys find my video informative. See you guys in the next video. Until then, signing out.